Hey everyone, and welcome back to our peg hunting haul video for the 2021 Q case. If you're new to our channel, this is how we like to collect our cars. We take a look at what's coming up and we make a list like you can see right here on the screen. And then we go hunting for them. So it's pretty, it's a lot of fun. Without further ado though, let's start unboxing. Let's see all the little treasures we got from the Q case. First up, we have our Shelby Cova, Co Cova. We have our Shelby Cobra 427S slash C. Now, when I did see this, of course, this is a suit. Well, this one's not a super, but the Shelby is the super for the Q case. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, but unfortunately it's not a super. <laughs> but I still really, really like the car itself. Honestly, I think it's super cool. Let's open it up. I tend to really like red cars a lot. I just love the body of the car. Here's a closer look. Now, if this was the Super, the paint would be a little bit different. It's much more, uh, it's like, it's really a wow factor, any of the paints that are Supers, and it has, would have real rider tires, but fortunately, the Shelby is not one of those. Next up, we have the Pagani. Ooh, I'm gonna butcher that. Huara, Hua, Hua, we're the the Pagani. We have a Pagani here, and this is really cute. It's gold. It's really pretty. And this is also the Q case ID car, but again, we don't have the ID car, but we've still found the car, and I love the car itself anyway. So we had to collect it. Love the gold paint. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, that looks real awesome. I don't know how fast it's going to be. Because there's been, I got to say, in our case uh, races and stuff like that, there has been some really interesting winners. So whoever we think would win, like, never does. So I'm really curious to see how these... Uh, the Shelby and the Pagani, how they're actually going to race when it comes to race day. Next up, we got our 17.4 GT. It's a part of the Then and Now collection. This is pretty cool. All right, let's get a closer look at you. You can see the number four all over it. There's a lot of, it's hard to tell, but they have gold accents in this paint. So right here, it looks almost silver-like in the camera, but it is actually gold. And it's got a nice little shimmer to it as well. Next up, we got our Custom 70 Honda N600. This, I believe, is also a recolor, too. That's, it's still such a cute car. Okay, for me, I love all the little cars, all the little, like, smushed-up-looking cars. I think they're so cute. Like, look, it looks so miniature. It's so tiny. But it's so adorable. I just love these type of cars anyway. This may do well. Next up, we got a Range Rover Classic. I love any of the cars that have like um, all the advertisements and stuff on them. It just reminds me of like an actual racing car. Hold on, let's get you out. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is a super cool car. Once I saw this, anytime that we see any of these, like, you know, all the advertisements, I think they look just awesome. They're just a favorite of mine. All right, now we got our fire eater. Okay, so the packaging itself for the car is really cool looking, but when you looked at the car, it just looks so much like a toy. I know that they are technically toys, the Hot Wheels, but it just looks very cheesy-like. Like the other cars, they look 
pretty realistic, really cool, the details. But this just looked very, uh, just very toy-like. <laughs> All right, let's get a closer look at this. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. Eh, it's not looking much better, but it's a little bit better than what I originally thought. I know we mostly picked this one up from Malia. All right, next up, we got Water Bomber. Now this is a recolor. The original one is yellow and now it's red. I personally like the red a little bit better, mostly because I like the color red a lot. Ooh, this feels weird. It's, it's heavier than I was expecting it to be. I don't know, I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting necessarily, but it's definitely a little heavier than I thought. All right, next we have the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. And it's a part of the Search and Rescue. Nice red, white, and blue colors. Really pretty. Which I know CJ loves anything that's like red, white, and blue themed. Loves that. So here is our Search and Rescue car. Ooh, these wheels feel like... I could see this car really doing well during the races. Next up, we have the 67 Chevelle SS396. And this again is also a recolor. The original one is blue and this one's yellow. I do like the yellow a lot. I like the blue too, but I, I feel like anytime I see a yellow car, it just reminds me of a taxi. Even though this is not the same like taxi color, but it still reminds me of a taxi. Next up. We got our Indy 500 Oval. And the original, again, another recolor, but the original one was more blue in the Hot Wheels theme. Still has the Hot Wheels theme for this one too, but it was more blue on the top. At first, I honestly didn't realize, but it was actually more reversed than what it currently is. And you can see here's a little dude in there. Getting ready to win that race. Next up, we got Bad Bagger. CJ was super stoked about finding the motorcycle. This is something he really wanted and was looking for. Obviously, this does not cannot race, but it's still a really cool motorcycle. And again, this is heavier than I was expecting too. I like the paint on it a lot. I don't know how this is going to stand. Is it going to stay up? Oh my gosh, it did. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was exciting. It stood up. <laughs> Next up, we got Muscle and Blown. I thought this was a super cool car. Again, I love all the, like, there's any type of, like, a lot of writing. Anything on the cars, I just love them. And this was a recolor. I'm not too sure what the original color was, but I know that's a recolor. I want to say gray or silver maybe, but I'm really digging the red. The red looks amazing on this car. And I think I really, I honestly think this is a favorite, even though I don't remember exactly what the other color was. Obviously it wasn't sticking out that much because I don't remember, but I really do like the red on this a lot. Next up, we got the LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2. Oh my gosh, that is such a mouthful. But yes, this is a recolor as well, and the original one is blue. I really got to say I like the Red Liberty Walk a lot. 
I think it looks super cool in red. I thought the blue looked amazing too. There's like a lot of red cars. Now that I'm like really looking at this cute case and what we got, we got a lot of red cars. But here is our red Liberty Walk. I'm a fan of this. I like this. Next up, we got the 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. It's a pretty cool car. I don't know. I'm not like blown away by it. I know this is one that CJ really wanted, but it's pretty cool. It's got nice, like a lot like a silvery blue with some gold accents on the car and nice black paint on it for the base. Next up, we got our Dodge Challenger drift car. This is super cool. It's a part of Team Hot Wheels as you can see from the similar paint of oh my gosh our beloved gasser from the last case oh we love that gasser and i know the gasser did roll over into the q case as well but here's our nice team hot wheels car and of course it's rocking that matte blue paint super cool next up we have the 85 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. I think this one is awesome. I love the blue on blue paint. I really, oh my gosh. Okay, so that light blue accent with the darker blue looks amazing together. Let's take a closer look at this. Very, very cool. That is amazing. I love the lighter blue and it has some of the silvery white color for the stripes. This is super cool. Big fan of the paint job on this. Look, Patches is saying hello. Next up, and a favorite of CJ's, we have the Hot Bird. This was hard to find. It, this was actually really tough to find the Hot Bird. And we... We really lucked out when we were hunting. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm like, should I tell us now or should I wait? But no, we're going to tell you now. So we found the hopper during one of the most exciting hunts we've ever had. We were at one of the stores. Me and CJ were hunting. And all of a sudden we saw three fresh cases that we got to go through, which the f this is like the first time CJ's ever gotten to go through an actual case. By the way, this car is awesome. That blue and that gold. Oh, okay. Seeing it without the packaging, it makes it even better. Hot bird, definitely something I'm loving too. So first time CJ's ever gone through one of the boxes. And I've only gone through one before, but we found three of them. And they let us go through it. We got to, we ended up finding one of the hot birds which we were super excited about. And then this also brings me into our next car we're going to unbox. Which is the Lamborghini, oh my gosh, the police car. I do not know what the other word is. But this is the treasure hunt. We found one of them in one of the three boxes. And it was one of the most exciting moments. It was just, it was so cool being able to do that. And then finding a TH was really, really awesome. So here is our Lamborghini police car. And we are we are opening it. We're going for this. And as you can see, there's our little treasure hunt symbol. And what does that say? Congratulations. This symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. I don't remember seeing that on any of the other treasure hunts but here is our Lamborghini and our treasure hunt and then here's our little mark on it so yeah we found one of that one of these in the boxes and we were so beyond excited about it it was such a successful hunt and it made hunting for the QK super super fun it was a very special moment for us 
which was awesome. I really hope you guys have some really good stories like that that's happened to you, or I hope you guys get the chance to go through one of them because it's super cool to do, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for the Q case. But before we go, we need your help. We have a goal to hit 500 subscribers by Christmas. So please, if you could share this with your Hot Wheels collector friends, family, and Santa to get on his nice list. We would really appreciate it. And as a thank you for helping us reach our goal, we are going to have our first contest with the winner receiving a Christmas stocking filled with Hot Wheels goodies. So make sure you are subscribed, you're hitting that like button, and leave a comment down below saying Santa's helper. We'd really, really appreciate it. And if you're in a position to support Summer's Raceway, consider being a Patreon at patreon.com slash Summer's Raceway for exclusive content. And if you're watching us on Facebook, don't forget to like our page. And if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. The best part about it is it's free. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. Now it's time to go hunt the 2022 A-Case.